What I've learned in my experience is just to keep general maintenance. So it's, we're working on short stuff, longer stuff, um, but not too long. It's, it's, it's just revisiting every every single day, revisit the same things, just to keep them on top on top form. Um, I'm not one of these into this new do this, do that. I've got to jump over tennis bats and balls. It's all about keeping the football out of the net. Do players come to you to ask a thing to work on something? Well, they do, but we spot most of it, obviously. Um, but it, it could be anything. Like this week, we could work on something, it might work, and then next week it'll be something completely different. So that's goalkeeping for you. So you never think you've got it now because you haven't, because it will come back and bite you on the bottom. I <laughs> concentrate oh. Was goalkeeper coaching something that you had a lot of when you were growing up? No, not really. I had advice from my dad, obviously, because he, he was in coaching. It was, um, it was, you were learning as you were going, to be honest. Um, didn't, there was no technical stuff. Obviously, back in the day, it was all video, so everything you I used to watch a video, stop it, pause it, rewind, stop it, pause it, play it, and learn. that's the sort of way I learned. But um, it was, it was all self, self teaching back in the day. Yeah. So as goalkeeper, we even have footballs. <laughs> Has goalkeeper been developed then so yeah, that um, now massively. they need specialist coaches Every, like yourself to work every, with them? Everything's analysed, everything's um, looked into, why we do this, why we do that. Um, and it keeps changing to be fair, it, it, it keeps changing. One, one week we're, we're staying back and and uh, giving yourself time, next week we're narrowing angles, so it is, it's an evolving game. It's all about, to be honest, reactions to um, situations, which is what we're working on today to be honest. Different situations, different reactions. Goalkeepers may not do a huge amount of running around, no. but is it underestimated the physical requirement to be a goalkeeper in the sessions like this? As you can see, I'm blowing. Yeah, it's it's the short, sharp, intense work that we have to do. Might only be might only be 10 second intervals, but when you work, you're working at 100%. So it's uh, it is hard work. It's changed over the years where you probably do 20 sets and you'd be up and down, up and down, but. It's probably a maximum of six now, six balls that you're dealing with. Um, but like I say, it's, it is 100%. Um, match, re match realistic, really. So, Have you noticed in your years being a goalkeeper how sessions have changed? Massively. I think when I first started, like I said, it was it was more the the quantity over the quality. Now it's a max of six reps, but everything's got to be quality and keeping the ball out of the back of net so yeah it's changed massively from 15 20 years ago yeah nice. 
Sharp fish stuff right now. Don't get a bit, a bit distant. Get a bit wobble on the ball. Get a bit wobble. I mean, because he's wobble, wobble, not like wobble. Everyone wants to wobble. Oh, stop dancing, Dad. Good luck, dancing. I don't know if you can catch that one on camera, but Reese is getting it. Yes, curly too. obviously have your individual time with the goalkeepers but they also have to go and join in with the outfield players so yes. is is that when obviously you know that a, a different type of test straight where they've got to go and almost go and do what they want to do almost well not one it's more match related so it's good for them so they're doing drills with me to be fair sort of drilling and then they go into put into practice to be honest on this is more game related um saying that they're probably going to get out of and crossing the finishing session but, um, it's more match related not with the speed of it you've got like people on top of you you've got bodies in the way I think every goal, every goal can be analysed. Um, it's making them little one percent. That's why the best of the best. And they make up them one percent. I suppose naturally though, you are sometimes going to concede goals, and you have to accept 100%, 100%, that. Hundred percent. So how how important is it then that you don't almost tie yourself down too much mentally yeah. in that? Hundred percent. You've just got. I think you've got to get into the mentality of. The best in the world are always going to make mistakes. So because we're League Two, we're going to make we're going to make more mistakes. But it's not getting bogged down by the mistakes. It's just getting on with it. Like the only human at the end of the day, but it's learning from and trying to rectify that. Not to make the same mistake twice. My my, my my sort of motto is: one mistake you get away with. Two, you might draw the game. Three, in one game, three, three is a loss. How important when you're training are good match habits? Probably the, the most important. Because you might not um, you might not have much to do on a Saturday, that one save might be so important getting three points for a point. So um, yeah, match habits is the most important. That's what I like to that's what I like to work on. Isn't it? It's, it's hard to know exactly because obviously you're not an outfield player, but would you argue that this is mentally the strongest position in a football team you have to be? 100%. We're going to say that. We're going to say that. Because, like you say, we don't know anything else. But 
you can you can be the best player on the pitch, and that's your job, Scott. And you can be the worst player on the pitch, and you cost the team and the crowd, and everyone hates you. Yeah. Everybody. You, but I, I think you can go from being the best player on the pitch for 89 minutes yeah. and have an absolute unbelievable game, fantastic, and that one that one minute you might just lose concentration. It all goes through your legs. Well, Pickford, wouldn't it, last year yeah. against Everton? Yeah. You yeah. always think about that last, that one mistake. But... And they remember the mistake, yeah. The progression is now you've got defenders in. So the boys, especially from our keeping point of view, it's a talking communication. And everything we've been working on this morning is now getting, uh, getting into the session. So, good morning's work. Let's go and have some lunch. And analyse the uh, opposition for Saturday. <laughs> Didn't used to do this back in the day, I tell you that. Who was your uh, your boot boy at different clubs then? So at Barnes I had, um, I had Chris Morgan. Chris Morgan. Yeah, I had Chris Morgan back in the day. He was at Barnsley. Uh, well, else did I had? Uh, in fact, I was on the staff's boots as well. So I had. Um, oh, you did his boots? Yeah, I did his oh, boots. Right. So, um, so I had a few gaffers back then. So there was Steve Parkin, uh, Andy Ritchie, uh, Andy Rhodes with the goal coach. Did you leave them spotless? Did I? They were dubbing in that back yeah. in the day. I need to. I need to clean them properly. Come back out. Oh yeah, I can't sit down. You coming in? Tuesday. What's the tea, yeah? Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know, yeah. Uh, Thank you. Where's my, where's my video?